Hi, this is Damon Vario from DamonVario.com and StockBarometer.com. Today, what I'm going to talk to you about is something called the contrast bias. Well, the title of this presentation is actually How Not to Invest Like a Rat. And there's a reason for that. It has to do with this concept of the contrast bias that I'm about to explain. Now, a contrast bias is a type of bias that's a cognitive bias that we see both in humans and in animals, such as lab rats. Scientists originally found this bias in lab rats by giving them different types of rewards in different orders. So a lab rat might be given a desirable reward and then made to work for it. Afterwards, he was given another reward, one of less quality, and he was told to work again, maybe run, run a maze or something. But the amount of effort he put into that, to getting that second less desirable reward was less than the first reward. On the other hand, if he's given a better reward the second time, he works harder for that reward. Now, this makes intuitive in sense, and, and it, it aligns with common sense, because we want to conserve energy for those rewards that are much more desirable, much more you know, beneficial for us. And the same goes for humans. Now, this is an evolved bias, and it makes sense. However, it doesn't make sense when we're investing. And I'll show you why. If we have a table that shows our time spent and the amount of money invested in a certain investment, we will see that for most investors, this is how it works. If you've got some small investment and you're spending some time T, let's say an hour investing a thousand bucks, now you're going to just spend that hour making the decision on the stock whether it's going to go up, whether it's going to go down, whether it's going to shift sideways, whatever that hour you spend on that investment decision is related to the amount you're investing. For most investors, this is how it works. Now, obviously, if an investor gets more money to invest, let's say he's used to investing $1,000, now suddenly he has a windfall of $5,000 he can reinvest, he's going to spend more time than that initial hour investing that bigger fee. So, what he has here is actually a function that determines the time spent on the investment that's related to the size of the investment. So while he spent T hours on the first investment, the bigger investment made him spend T hours plus some extra amount of time that's a function of the size of the investment. But that is not optimal. One, we're not lab rats. We don't need to conserve energy for different investments. This is just a bias that's acting in, a, um, in an area that doesn't need it. The true optimal time spent on any investment decision is simply T as defined by your prediction system. What I mean by prediction system is the method you use to determine whether a stock is going to move in a certain direction. Now, for some people that's a fundamental analysis, for others it's technical analysis, it doesn't matter as long as you have a system. If that system is in place, you're always going to have a method to predict the direction of a stock and it has nothing to do with your investment being made. So, I make this differentiation of invest of, of here, there's a Venn diagram here, of a betting system and a prediction system. Your betting system is how you allocate your funds to the investment, whereas your prediction system is how you determine whether that underlying stock, bond, or whatever is going to go up or down, whether it's worth investing. So these two should be independent. And if they're not independent, if there's some overlap here, it means that the size of your investment is, infect is affecting your prediction system, which is not something you want to happen. Now, if you're going to become a lab rat and work at you know, determining how much money should go into a certain investment at the same time you determine whether that investment's going to go up and down, you're probably going to be hurt in the long run. You're probably going to be one of those traders that ends up quitting within a year and you know, just gets frustrated with the loss of money or you know, the money spent in commission while the stock stays the same. Everybody's had situations like this when they first start out, and usually it's because you're mixing your emotions with your prediction decisions. That's not something you want to do. I will later show you my betting system and my prediction system. My prediction system is actually written in um, a guide that I have for free on daymonvario.com. Just click on the annotation there. It'll take you to get the free guide. Uh, the betting system I will be updating in a new video later. 
Thank you very much. Please go to DamonVero.com, download the free guide. When you get there, there will be a pop-up. All you have to do is fill in your email address. You get the free guide right away. All right. Bye.